Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mace back at it with some Destiny. So, tis Thursday, and he's located over at the Reef. If you're new to Destiny, Zer comes to the tower once a week on Friday. He brings with him exotics for you to buy with strange coins, and he leaves on Sunday morning. And uh, for all the veterans out there, he did bring three of coins. See? I told everybody it was a glitch. Uh, let's see what he's got. Legacy Engram, that's a year one exotic. Do not buy that. We have the Helm of Vinmos Light. We've got the Young Am Spine for the Hunter Gunslinger. We have the Light Beyond Nemesis and also the Monte Carlo. I'm pulling up Destiny Iron Manage here and these stat rolls are terrible. Helm of Sane 14, 83%, 91%, and 82%. So, Helm of Vinmos Light for the Titan. You get provides death from above and headstrong for a fist of panic. Uh, I never use this thing. Um, I'm always an armamentarium and Helmet Saint 14 person when it comes to exotics for my Titan. What do we got here? Hands on, gain bonus super energy from melee kills and minions of the darkness. Second thoughts, gain bonus super energy from special weapon kills and minions. Better already, shield start recovery immediately after orb pickup. I would re-roll these things if you're looking for this helmet. Reroll it with glass needles and all of these will change. Don't worry if you're new to Destiny. If you re-roll these things with glass needles, even though if you level this whole thing up, when you re-roll it, uh, you don't have to re-level up the whole item. Okay, Young Ahamkara Spine, very good for the Gunslingers. You get increased trip mine grenade duration and gain an additional trip rate. Uh, trip mine, trip I can't talk at 4.09 a.m. Trip mine grenade. Uh, this is fun in Mayhem Clash. When I play Mayhem Clash, I pretty much only play it on my Hunter and will play it on my Gunslinger. So this one's a 91% roll. We got Intellect and Discipline. Fastball, increased grenade throw distance, impact induction, bonus grenade energy on melee hits, pulse rifle reloader, or machine gun reloader. So, eh, depending on the perks there, once again, it's a 91% roll. You might want to reroll this thing and uh, see if you can get some maybe different reloaders here, but maybe get a better intellect discipline roll or whatever you're looking for. All right, we got the uh, Light Beyond Nemesis. I used to use this in year one, but um, I guess a lot of folks, if they play Trials or Skirmish, because you revive and be revived faster, but you also, your super is gonna generate an extra orb. So this one's showing an 82% stat roll, and it's Intellect and Strength, okay? So uh, Keeper of the Pack, revive fallen teammates and be revived faster. Supers generate an extra orb. Inverse Shadow, I always have to have that on all my helmets. That's just me, Legendary or Exotic. I always reroll that for that. That's where all kills I mean, into the darkness will give you the more super energy. Heavy lifting, gain bonus super energy, and heavy weapon kills are better already. Shields start recovery immediately after or pick up. So, then we have the Monte Carlo, which I'll show you in a second. Three of coins, snack packs of 10 heavy ammo synths, and three, and the usual emerald coil, plasma drive, exotic shard for seven strange coins, and motes of light. So, let's go look at Monte Carlo. Now, I don't really use this thing very often, but let's just look at it with its ornaments. It looks good. So, that's the Super Spy ornament, and that's the Royal Flush. Both look really cool. Um, I guess Hunter Night Stalkers might have a good time with this thing. And even, you know, Warlock Stormcrawlers probably, too, because it's all about your melee, which we'll get to in a second. So, you got CQB Ballistics, you got Smart Drift Control, and Aggressive Ballistics. I personally go with uh, Smart Drift Control. Do get a little bit more impact, but it does kick a bit. Take a lot of stability hit from it. You got hip fire, you can go at high caliber round, send it for some more range, or a field scout. But I always go with send it. So Monte Carlo method, dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully charge your melee ability after each kill. So it comes in handy for you night stalkers if you're throwing a lot of smoke bombs, or for storm callers if you're trying to get that ridiculous uh, 200 meter melee <laughs> over and over. But um, I don't know, I just feel like auto rifles in PvP, even in PvE for that matter, I never use them. They just they don't don't do enough damage. I'm still just a complete scout rifle slut. Actually, this one I'm using in PvE right now. I'm using Outbreak Prime. I'm using Hawk Moon every day, actually, because I, I want to use it. I love the way it looks. I love the way it sounds. My favorite gun in the game. But man, this thing is inconsistent, so I don't bother trying to use it in PvP. Uh, Thorn, that needs a buff. That's my Clever Dragon I use for PvP. Last word for PvP. Mida. And uh, I got this Devil You Know with Spray and Play. Luck in the Chamber and a Rifle Barrel. This is a lot of fun in PvE. Uh, I don't really use it so much in PvP. If I'm gonna go hand cannons, I'm either gonna go in my palindrome, which you can just buy at the uh, vendor from the Crucible Quartermaster, or at Last Word. So that's pretty much it, guys. So do me a favor, let me know in the comment section what you guys are buying or wish he sold besides Ophidian aspects. And oh, I have something from uh, Petra. And also, well, okay, Varix, that's the weekly package. If you didn't know, if you get to a certain rank of Varix, it gives you a little snack pack every week with a few items. What does Petra have for me? Oh, reward rank up. What are we going to get? 
Oh, we got one of these. All right. I got one of these in year one and kept it for a very long time. Very cool looking cloak, depending on what shader, but not this shader. No, that looks too ridiculous. This is the raid shader I have on right now. What does that thing look like if I put... Let's see. Let's put Nineveh on and see what Nineveh looks with that cloak on. Does it look cool? Yeah, that looks much better. That's a cool looking cloak. Yeah, I'm going to start grinding the Queen's uh, bounties every day. These change every day except for the weekly VIP one right here. And uh, you can rank her up and get up to 390 light gear from her and the full set of Queen's armor's gear. And also the ship, now I don't feel special. I was the only one that had this ship from <laughs> year one, I think, chasing infinity. But I, I see other people are getting it from those uh, Petra packages. So anyway, that's it, guys. Do me a favor. Drop a like this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mesa Sean. Check my stream. Use you on YouTube. And that's it. I am out of here, like Vladimir. Anything good here? Glimmer, glimmer, glimmer. Engrams, anything? No, nothing good. All right, see you guys.